Hi, my name is Fintan McKiernan. I'm from Ideal Systems, and we build studios and video production facilities across Asia. I'm sitting here in the new iFast studio. So iFast uh, contacted us to convert their existing training room into a set of studios and video production facilities that could also accommodate live streaming uh, up to 4K. So I want to give you a quick look around at the studio and what we did here and the technology that we used to build it. So follow me. We'll go have a look around over here. First is the first set, and then this is kind of really the second set here, which is a, a very large, uh, long LED video wall. Um, this allows a presenter um, or the talent uh, to um, show illustrations, graphs, and also because of the technology we've used, we can bring in uh, Skype and Zoom calls and, and actually have interactions with them live on the video wall and stream that live as well. So we can actually have one or multiple callers coming in at different times during the production or during the show. So this is really the second set. Um, the sets are all kind of around uh, the, cam the cameras in the middle, so we've optimized the space. So if we come on around here, um, we kind of change into the third set. This is a, a casual set, um, kind of more relaxed uh, interview style, small personal interview style set. And uh, you can see here, I'm getting very bright. We have a lot of studio lighting here. The professional studio lighting here is all, again, centrally located, pushing out to the edge. And then um, over in the next set, in the chroma set, you can see there's a, a lot of lighting here because it's very important that we have strong lighting for the chroma set. So um, on our way to the chroma set, past some of the cameras here, you'll also notice cameras are fitted with um, the teleprompters. Teleprompter here actually uses a very neat bit of technology, also from New Tech. I'll talk a little bit more about that later on. But we can import the text into the teleprompter in Word, and we can actually put in commands in the Word document to make the production switcher switch cameras or do types of visual effects automatically straight out of the Word document um, and on the text of the teleprompter. So some of the uh, actions in the production are tied to the correct timing in the script. So some kind of cool Hollywood magic going on there. Here in the chroma set, so a very large chroma set, eight, nine meter back wall by three plus meters deep. This allows uh, a variety of sets to be arranged, multiple uh, participants for uh, larger discussions. Um, and it's all chroma set. So we key in the switcher and the, the technology we use at the back end will allow a full virtual set here. And also same as with the LED video wall, we can actually bring in Zoom calls virtually in this augmented reality space or virtual reality space. Uh, we can bring in video calls. So we can actually have hybrid discussions with the people who are present and people coming in on Zoom, Teams, Skype, and, and various uh, other mechanisms to bring them in live, but they'll be in space because we've got, we can key in the whole background. It also allows IFAS to have a multitude of different sets and they can go and change, update, seasonal, different events and so on. So the Chroma set provides a huge amount of extra functionality as well as the fixed sets for regular programming as well. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about the technology if you come this way. Um, First off, the entire set and the entire studio, all of the video technology is based on um, NDI, uh, Network Device Interface. So this is a new type of technology that has supplanted the SDI, the Serial Digital Interface that most studios use today. Um, and there's a number of advantages in using NDI technology, and I'll talk about one here. So these cameras here are all remote controlled from the control room, and in the old days you had a coax cable, a power cable, um, and uh, you had a control cable as well. All these cables going in. So if you've got a number of cameras, you've got three cables going out to each of them. Here you can see just one cable, and it's just a standard Ethernet, a standard computer cable, power over Ethernet. So in this cable, it's a five-in-one cable. So we've got the power, we've got the control for the power tilt and zoom of the camera. We've got the tally, which is a little light that tells the presenter which camera is on, which camera is live, which camera to look at, and the audio and the video. So five and one, all down into one cable. So big reduction in cables um, makes it much easier to manage the studio. So talking about the studio management, 
if we come back and if you follow me, I'm going to go into the uh, control room at the back here. So um, I'm going to follow the camera back. Not getting biffed by the boom. And um, so in the back of the room here behind me is the green room. So this is where we've got a um, kind of a preparation changing room, if you like. And then we come into the control room here. So in the control room, you can see uh, a reasonably standard looking studio control room. But in actual fact, um, most of the function of the control room has been compressed down into this one operator area here. So this is based on the TriCaster 2 Elite um, from NewTek. This is a kind of a magical bit of equipment, right? Because for a company like IFAS, who, who, who is a, you know, a fintech company, um, is not a broadcaster, you know, they don't have a lot of broadcast engineers. So in NewTek, they've compressed a lot of the different functions that you would have in a standard studio into this one, one device, into this one piece of technology. So in this device, you have the ability to do the switches and the fades between the cameras. You can also bring in through a, a, a technology in the new tech called a um, caller, uh, call collect. Um, and that allows the management of Skype calls, Zoom calls, um, and Teams calls, and especially during COVID, these are very important because a lot of your interviews are going to be remote. So they can all be brought in and managed in this and brought into the studio, either on the LED wall or into the chroma set, into the virtual space as well for interaction with the presenter. Um, this also does the graphics, the switching, so people will get lower thirds with their name on them and all, all of that. But it also does, it sounds like an awful lot, and it is an awful lot, it also does the encoding and the streaming. So this studio is dual purpose. It can make content that becomes available afterwards on, on the iFast app, but it can also live stream to the iFast app, or in some cases, you might want to live stream to your social media, maybe to the iFast Facebook or, or, or iFast YouTube or something like that as well. So this can do all of that simultaneously. So it compresses a huge amount of function into, the, into this small form factor. And you can see here, even right down to the control of the PTZ, the, the, the uh, remote cameras as well, all into one device. What that does is it simplifies the use of the whole studio, means that the studio can be run with less, uh, less overhead, less staff, um, and it also means that the whole production is very focused and very concentrated and, and really easier. We've cut down on the cable, we've cut down on, on the number of devices. The other devices here are simply an audio mixer and, and a lighting control so that people can be focused on the creativity, on the content. Um, and remember, we're shooting in 4K or up to 4K. This will stream out in 4K. So you're getting this really high quality, rich content out to the viewers with very high production values um, and in a system that's relatively easy to use and certainly by comparison to the world that we've come from in broadcast, dramatically easier to use. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed my quick tour around the IFAS studio.